Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to play Windows 95 and MS-DOS games into a modern computer. So let's get started. Now initially I wanted to do this in VirtualBox but because of incompatibilities with sound cards and video cards I decided that it would be a better idea to do it in DOSBox. I tried to install it into Windows 95 and the sound cards weren't working and you had only sound effects, not music, so I decided DOSBox would be a better idea since it's free to install. This is the installer, it's pretty straightforward, and I'll link it into the description. The games are also easier to, to find and the instructions are really easy to follow and it applies to most of the games. So firstly, put it somewhere easy to access and put an easy name to it because you'll have to type it in. So for instance I'm going to call this SQ3. So it's on my D drive. So firstly let's open DOSBox. Now you can minimize that window. This is the window that you need. You can press Alt Enter if I'm not wrong in order to full screen. So firstly you'll have to mount that folder as your C drive or D drive or whatever drive you want. So um, pretty much you have to type in mount, then the letter you want it to be mounted as, and then the path. So we're going to mount the SQ3 folder as the C drive. So what we need to do now is to access the C drive that has been mounted. So in order to access it, you have to type in CD and then type in the path in order to access it. So we mounted this as our C drive. So we're going to go into the C drive and we're going to list directories. So the game is currently into the SQ3 folder. So next, let's just list this up. And you can see there the game is sq 3 Bad. Now you can go into the setup in order to change the sound card and video card. But this is it. Here you've got your game. Again, Alt Enter to full screen. So if you enter the setup.bat or whatever uh, it might be, you have to look it into the list. You can change the sound card that it's using. For instance, now it's onto the AdLib Sound Blaster card, the Sound Blaster, sound blaster 16, if I'm not wrong. So, um, one thing, uh, your D-pad might not work, and that's because you have to use your numpad directional keys. So, what that means is, if you look at your numpad, you can see there are some arrows onto 4, 6, 8, and 2. So, 4 is left, 6 is right, 2 is down, and 8 is up. So, pretty much, you have to disable your number pad so it doesn't input numbers so that way it will input the arrow keys as a d-pad and games like Wolf Wolfenstein actually have mouse support so I'll let you guys watch some gameplay and see you next time on How Do IT